Good morning, David. Uh, good morning, Karat. How can risks be quantified? Well, let's go back to our pre-definition, our kind of proto-definition of risk as uncertainty that matters, or to use the ISO 31000 definition, the effect of uncertainty on objectives. If we have two parts to our risk definition, uncertainty that matters, when we ask the question, how big is the risk, we have two answers to give. How uncertain is it and how much does it matter? Yeah. So in terms of quantifying, what we need to do is to quantify the uncertainty dimension and then to quantify the effect on objectives dimension. And we can do that. So in terms of quantifying uncertainty, how uncertain is this? Yeah. We could use probability mm -hmm. or we could use frequency, yeah. depending on the type of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. So probability, what's my level of confidence that I think this will happen? Frequency, how often has it happened in the past? What's the chance of it happening again? Those are describing the uncertainty, quantifying the uncertainty. With either a range, we could say there's a less than 50% chance that it happens, or maybe we know there's a 10 to 20% chance, yeah. or a one in a hundred, or one in a million. Those are quantifying the uncertainty. And in terms of the effect on objectives, it depends which objective we're talking about. If it's a time objective, we have to deliver on this date, we can quantify the effect in terms of days or weeks or months. If it's a financial objective, we can quantify it in terms of dollars or pounds or reals. Yes. Um, if it's a safety objective, we can quantify in terms of the number of accidents or reportable incidents. Yes. Um, all of these things, objectives are usually quantifiable, so the effect on objectives of a risk can also be quantified. So because we have this two-part definition of a risk, an uncertainty that matters, an uncertainty that affects objectives, we can quantify those two parts. And answering the question, how big is the risk, needs to have a two-part answer. The size of the risk is, it's this likely, and it has this size of impact. That's very well said. Thank you very much, David. Thank you.